hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word will get light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Paul and Silas, Peter was lucky they had the church to pray while he was sleeping. You see, the problem with Peter is even though he was an apostle of the Lord, he was in danger, but the Bible said Peter was sleeping. Make sure if you are sleeping, there are people awake praying for you. Because if nobody is awake and you are sleeping, well if you are jesus fine and good if you are not that boat is going to capsize soon the bible says peter was sleeping but the church said no let him sleep we will wake up but in the case of paul and silas nobody was praying for him so the bible says at midnight paul and silas said listen if we decide to sleep like peter we would die for nothing same prison the bible says they got up they prayed is that in your bible <laughs> and they sang loud enough and the jailers heard them this time around because they added worship to it there is a dynamics it was not angels that came it was god himself that came because the bible says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise by that formula shall i be saved from my enemies they prayed but then they sang and God who inhabits the praises of his people came the Bible says when he showed up there was an earthquake in the prison for Peter the doors were opened carefully but this one there was an earthquake it rattled the foundation of the prison and the Bible says immediately all doors open immediately how many doors financial doors doors of health doors of influence doors of ministry when god came immediately not gradually not step by step not one door per year immediately all doors open someone prophesy all doors open all doors all doors all doors doors to the education of your children doors to your relevance within the land doors to your ministry doors to be structurally established within jalingo within the northeast within your station doors of business when he came in response to prayer when he came in response to worship there was an earthquake all doors open hallelujah listen please listen there are three ways to open doors according to scripture the first way we open doors is through the use of the correct keys when you use a correct key not a key a correct key a door is opened the second way we open doors is by knocking two relationships when you knock that door the person at the other end must like you enough to open that door remember the man who was begging bread for his friends in the night he came and knocked the door and said friend there are other friends who have come because you are my friend stand up and open the door for me if you don't understand relationships there are doors that will never open because there is a way we open doors by knocking unfortunately when you knock the doors is because you don't have the key the person who has access to the door must like you enough this is where favor comes in but the third way we open doors when there are no keys and there are no friends the third way doors are opened is by rattling the foundations by force now the advantage of breaking those doors is that if you use a correct key and the person coming after you does not have the key the door will still be closed like your children if you knock and the relationship opens for you and does not open for your spouse they will remain outside but when god comes 
he shakes the foundation the door is only there because it's connected to a foundation when he pushes that foundation both you are your children and everybody who comes after you listen to me when paul and silas were praying other prisoners were not praying but when the doors open every prisoner went every every they leveraged on the prayer advantage so the benefits of prayer go beyond you you are the one who does the engaging in the place of prayer but your children will eat from it your members will reap from it your family members nuclear and extended will reap from it he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint let's do some prayer Our time is up even if it's just for five minutes is that all right i'd like you to invest the time that we have no roaming around no looking around no gisting if you are being distracted it's a demon spirit focus your attention on jesus christ go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit Go ahead. Sapra Catapalata Parantas Catapragata. Shaka Paracata Pratacata Palacata Pacatos. Let a Prenta Cataparacata Patos Cate. Shate Lake Parentas Capracatepas. Lacata Pacata Parantos Soto Pacata Pelacata. Racata Prenta Capata Catapalacata Pros. Shate Saparentos Coto Pentecate. Epracata Patacata Lacate. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. A few minutes. You are saying never again. And you are saying amen. Never again to sickness. Never again to infirmity. Never again to defeat. Never again to limitations. Never again to delay and stagnation. Never again to limitations. Rate Kapalash Katapranta Kapalakos Yata. You're a man of God in ministry. Pray. Pray the next dimension of your ministry. Pray the next dimension of your relevance. Word of the forces, the arsenals of darkness that sit upon cities, sit upon territories and nations. A few minutes, you are praying. A few minutes, you are praying. Shapa nekapeles, rakate proskate lekate panda kapriakata. Pray yourself into a more superior version. Pray yourself from a weak to a stronger version. Pray yourself from a canal to a spiritual version. Pray yourself from a limited to an unlimited version. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray. I'd like you to engage with understanding. You are going to challenge every other voice every other covenant every other ordinance that has found its way to your life that is inconsistent with the verdict of heaven manipulations of darkness someone lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray every hiding must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every hiding must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every hiding must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown go ahead and pray 
yokes of limitations over Chalingo, over Taraba State, yokes of limitation in ministry, limitations in business. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The spirits of captivity, keeping God's people bound, keeping ministries bound. Someone pray. Rata Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm giving you two more prayer points. Please look at me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, Jesus told the disciples, it says, let us go to the other side. Our influence should not be limited here. Let us go to the other side. Increase, expansion. And as soon as they got into the boat, the Bible says there arose a storm of wind. Many attacks in your life is because of the prophecy for increase. The prophecy for expansion. That a higher level of grace had left heaven and yet it still not landed upon your life. Because somewhere in that journey, there has arisen a storm of wind. But we are going to do what Jesus did. The Bible says he rebuked the wind and he said peace be still is someone ready to pray say father shout it again say father in the name of jesus i decree i declare that every challenge every attack over my life over my ordination over my destiny be destroyed now go ahead and pray be destroyed every i want you to pray this with all your heart is going to be a prayer for advancement let me tell you the truth everything that is alive grows growth is a fundamental characteristic of living things to grow means to increase in size it also means to increase in influence to increase in relevance if you truly love god and love his program you must love advancement because there are certain levels of influence that cannot afford you the opportunity to do much for the kingdom there are music ministers that need to grow there are apostles that need to grow there are prophets that need to grow the kind of oil you are carrying on your head you can't be trusted with the nations no there needs to be an expansion of that capacity their glory is in weights and there are certain weights of glory if you do not carry you cannot be trusted with certain assignments someone is ready to go forward you are going to pray it's an aggressive prayer commanding advancement now listen Acts chapter 12 the Bible says there were three gates that were opened this is the last prayer point the first gate opened Peter was out of the prison but he was not out of the prison area the second gate opened then the Bible says when they got to the iron gate there is a gate called the iron gate that leads to the city is that in your Bible not every gate there are gates that bring you out of prison but there are gates that lead to the city that is the gate that comes that controls territorial influence if that gate is not open no matter how anointed you are the nations cannot hear you the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder someone is about to open this gate in the place of prayer for the next two minutes i want you to engage the gate that controls influence you must swing hither and thither it's time for the revelation of the glory of god upon my life and upon my destiny someone shout and say father 
I decree and declare that every gate of limitation over my life over my kingdom service let that gate be open now prophesy a father be open a father be open go ahead and pray be open a father be open a father be open a father be open gates open open for greater kingdom exploits open for access to greater resources open for more strategic relationships open for higher levels of light open for greater stature in the spirit open Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Tita and Hita, be open. Let the King of Glory come in. Be open. Let the saints in light come in. Be open. Let the work of the kingdom find visibility. Be open. Belanda Baratas Katabalakatosh. Shafana Savalenda. Help the lady under the anointing so she doesn't injure herself. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. We have to wrap up the service. Just help those under the anointing. If you forgot everything I taught you this morning, do not forget. That we are co-laborers with God when verdicts come as a decree as captured by the finished work of Christ through the ministry of the word and the intelligence of the spirit that will is revealed to the saints but when the saints have a capture of the revealed will of God their next assignment is the partnership that brings enforcement and one of such as you have learned this morning is the partnership of prayer heartfelt prayer fervent prayer word compliant prayer every dead prayer life in this place every dead passion for prayer every attack on your prayer life this morning in the name of jesus i declare by the privilege of god's mercy i lift up this candle with fire upon it and by mercy let your candle be lit again let it be lit with fire let your prayer altar be lit with fire let your prayer altar be lit with fire I forbid you from praying amiss. You will not waste your time in the place of prayer. Your prayer will be fervent. Your prayer will be effectual. Your prayer will be result producing. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. There are territories that have patterns. Where those who work for things never enjoy it. Have you seen that pattern? you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Embreke te katos koti barakata, shkada bata katos kete kata. Embreke te katos koto pakata, kebash kebash keta lis kenya. Embreke te katos kati balakata. Shada kata bakata katos, 
Empreteke parakatos katikata Keprentes ketilakatos katiyada Kaparis katiyaha Just bring the spirit in one minute Sanakata bakatos koto prendekata Kileis kenimatos koto prendekatiya I sought for a man Who would stand in the gap That I would not destroy them Hallelujah. Let me finish because we are going to pray tonight. Worship team, get ready. You will sing that my song for me again. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Listen, you have to say enough is enough. If not for your sake, for your children on board. I've gone through the pain already. Let innocent people not go through this again. I've gone through the poverty. I went through the pain of idolatry. I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos. Hebrente ketes koto baskadia. Embreketa. Rekete koto skoto ketea. Rebas koto shanakata miyakata. Someone pray, you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadakata Bakatos, a Prokotos Koto Begate Lakata. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad, they find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame wasting your money and your time remember what i taught you he continued further if and when unhindered evil will always continue further hear me let me tell you this i made up my mind and i made a covenant with god that everything i've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please sit down please sit down just help those under the anointing now hear me please don't be distracted we are praying I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have helped them, please. Kabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh. 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 I 
can see with the eyes of the spirit and i see a mighty army rising yes i know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region. You start a walk, it does not last more than three years. Something must happen that brings you down. You may still be there, but you never maintain the texture of your glory. There are regions like that. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors. No matter how anointed you are in this end times, if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you, you may not last. I tell you, the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise. Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like, like, like a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were as big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory rise up on your feet let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of jesus i decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent i stand by the grace of god and we bring an end to it now yes. hear me please i want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and i will teach you where you can start with your family he said destroy it not
for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the God of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray God reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Shaka paka te pata katus, ke prende ke paros ke te la kata parusia. Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no fear. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your away. Please look at me. Hear me. I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that i know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters, they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound. I'd like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority. I am a spirit with a mortal body. I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air, the realm of the sea. Someone is praying.
Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward and I declare Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place Every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life. In this season, I declare, I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every system of authorization. Working against my life. My family. My destiny. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silent. Be silent. Be silent. Shake it up, katapa la katosh. Embrace it, katapa roskotoba. Be silent. In the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray, many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body program to waste my life i command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growths depart pariata Blood conditions depart. Shaka da baka da baka dos kabi. Embra da ka baruso sega de balapus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity my body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people I cause it right now Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents.
hallelujah in the name of jesus please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says oh earth 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 hear ye oh earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Shabagada Baragos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatesh. hallelujah listen the implication of having dominion over the realm of the air the realm of water the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you are you getting what i'm saying now judges i, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God. 
and can stand in partnership hold on that means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water provided is one of these elements did the bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord work in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural i decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired genesis 1 from verse 20 i want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and god said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly hold on we are going to declare the prayer of abundance waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water water here means men are we together water prophetic that means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men and the bible says god can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of jesus i decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragada balagada praskodo balando shaliatas.
hallelujah psalm 79 verse 11 psalm 79 verse 11 let the sign of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those that are appointed to die death is an appointment i can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and i can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness okay you go to apply for a visa you expect an appointment there is an understanding between you and the the, the consular officers that there is an appointment so when the bible talks about an appointment it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment in the name of jesus christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can I tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for god's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the bible says where the word of a king is he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me 
we are going to make decrees. Every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation, in this city and around. Please don't say it does not concern you. Don't make the mistake of Esther. When her man was plotting evil, Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning. He said, do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us, you will be spared. For you do not know whether it is for such a time as this. Everyone who has been kidnapped, even those killed, they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you. Don't forget that you have not, you have not stopped moving. You too move out in the morning and in the night. So don't say it does not matter. Shout this from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my place. As one who has authority. And I decree and declare. The spirit of bloodshed. The spirit of terrorism. The spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the south. We prophesy to the east. We prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you. Listen, listen. You have to reject bad news between now and December. You, you, your, your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time. It is within your power. Yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things 
say it he that is holy he that is true and had the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 he says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them some of you by reason of this open doors things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of jesus let it enter your hand finally for in jesus name we pray please wave your hands to jesus wave your hands to the king of kings are you ready to pray psalm 3 and verse 1 3 and verse 1 give my people the mic so that we'll pray 3 and verse 1 it says oh lord how are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me psalm 71 and verse 21 we're praying someone's destiny is about to change read with me one to read thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me how many sides how many sides joshua chapter 3 and verse 7 joshua 3 and verse 7 read with me and the lord said unto joshua this day i will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all israel that they may know that as i was with moses so i will be with you are you ready to pray shout this from the depth of your heart father for your glory for your glory increase my greatness go ahead and pray increase my greatness for your glory father for your glory increase my greatness take away smallness from my destiny increase my greatness someone pray tired of where you are pray tired of where you are pray tired of where you are pray 
Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. my greatness take away smallness from my destiny in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray my god something is happening to your spirit man i tell you there is an elevation in the spirit an elevation i'm seeing a ladder this is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs those failing body parts you are just 20 30 and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things it's time to be angry God does not just restore time God restores health and vitality Psalm 41 1 to 3 Shabaka parakatos yata. blessed is the man that considered the poor the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble verse 2 the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. 
and I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. Randos Calibra Catizeta. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say, Father. I decree. I declare. I declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Parisabalagadash Rampatalakatarakatos Rakatas Kotobros Abrakatabalakata Fraskatabalaka Restoration 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 Restore joy Restore years Restore things Restore men Restore resources Shabakaparos Rakata Braskata Vaskapach Rakata Braskata Palakos Rakata Brantakapach Abrakatos Koto Brakatelet Cry restoration Cry restoration Cry restoration In Jesus name we pray in Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak. But it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent. But it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins. God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom. That made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said and the lord spoke unto sarah now watch this you would think it just happened the next day look at how the bible summarizes it but let me break this scripture down for you the lord visited sarah as he has said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken this is a spiritual reality but the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day you see the way God talk 
talks and the way he behaves he expects his word to have come speedily whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation jesus looked at the man in john chapter 5 and said why are you still in this condition and he said i have no man and it made his tragedy become 38 years the woman who was bent for 18 years another had hemorrhage for 12 years why does the bible attach numbers to these tragedies the bible would have just said a certain man was sick abraham and sarah were barren trusting god the man at gate he had been there a long time but the bible is so meticulous it attaches numbers notice when jesus came he did not honor the longevity of their pain he made them know that for all of them a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier are you ready to pray let me give you one more scripture this one we are going to pray because there are some of you you can't wait again till December no the Bible said this is the day not this is the week not this is the month there are days there are weeks there are months there are years whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality if your faith is for years save Johnny if your faith is for months save Johnny he said give us this day give us when one more time so God can give men this day there are times they will say after five months on the sixth month of the seventh year the word of the Lord came but Jesus himself said when you pray remind the father that is within his power to give you this day give me this this day give me liftings this day open a door for me this day are you ready to pray joshua chapter 21 and verse 45 give us amplified we're still praying don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he said i'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer i know him my God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's got us for freedom. Heaven will promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He never. John Joshua 21. 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the lord had promised to the house of israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father i declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry i declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word i declare someone pray i declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. 
Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit, 15, 16, and that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument. You can argue all you can, but not in the presence of results. Hallelujah. What is the prayer? Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season, give evidence to my Christian experience. Results. Genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live my living for you. Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He said, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity 
I've seen people who love God. They are not lazy, but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No, they beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. No way. One more time. Shout no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus, everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, Father. every curse, every enchantment. Every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment, every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of jesus so you pray with fervency you pray with all your heart lift your voice and say father shout it again say father in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that everything you have for me i receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion Everything you have, the healing, everything you have, the impartation, the open doors, direction, illumination, I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Sati 
Ibakata Parago Shabranda Gebelekes, Skies of Azasika Paranda Shavra Sebelekatas, Emprata Paracata Frascata Balakata Brenda Gebelekes, Caprata Gebelekatos. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you, receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, Let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Shalige bereke te paranda ska prake bele shiasa prakata paranda ka prake te bele ketos. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without distraction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandeke berekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Shadike parakoska praski balakosiata. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing 
all that see my prophetic word all that see God locate me will laugh with me go ahead and pray Sabranda ke berekos, salakros ke berekos, sanel semelekos, sabrakate balakos yata. All that here will laugh with me, all that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, salabarekatos kapranda ke berekos yata. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point: You have turned my morning into dancing and my sorrow to joy watch this if water can be turned to wine it means pain can be turned to joy if water can be turned to wine it means unemployment can be turned to victory even in terms of employment the 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 listen the idea there is not just water turning to wine the idea is the power that can make anything become what god says anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory hallelujah the enchantment that supports you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children 
your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open. Doors of restoration be open and remain open. Doors of opportunity be open and remain open. Doors of speed be open and remain open. Hear me. I release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them I say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of David has opened Makesh Kalibarata Siata. May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand. In the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? 
many are they that rise up against me psalm 71 and verse 21 we are praying someone's destiny is about to change read with me one to read thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me how many sides how many sides joshua chapter 3 and verse 7 joshua 3 and verse 7 read with me and the lord said unto joshua this day i will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all israel that they may know that as i was with moses so i will be with you are you ready to pray shout this from the depth of your heart father for your glory for your glory increase my greatness go ahead and pray Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. my greatness take away smallness from my destiny in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray my god something is happening to your spirit man i tell you there is an elevation in the spirit an elevation i'm seeing a ladder this is what i'm seeing an elevation you will suddenly go and see that things are changing changing in your life hmm. prayer point number two take it down for me for the last one month this prayer point has not left my spirit restore everything that was lost restore everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore 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 everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. 
God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you strengthen you and then settle you say it again make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say father i decree i declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Restoration, 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 restore joy, restore years, restore things, restore men, restore resources. Shabaka paros, rakata braskata braskabash, rakata braskata palakos, rakata branta kapach, abrakatos koto brakateles. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. 
God's word can be sent but it must arrive speedily in the parable of the ten virgins God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom it was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish if the bridegroom came on time all ten of them they were virgins are we together now it was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss so when it does not arrive on time your resources can pay for it he says satisfy me early with your mercy genesis 21 and verse 1 the bible says and the lord visited sarah as he has said and the lord spoke unto sarah now watch this you would think it just happened the next day look at how the bible summarizes it but let me break this scripture down for you the lord visited sarah as he has said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken this is a spiritual reality but the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day you see the way god talks and the way he behaves he expects his word to have come speedily whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation jesus looked at the man in john chapter 5 and said why are you still in this condition and he said i have no man and it made his tragedy become 38 years the woman who was bent for 18 years and not that had hemorrhage for 12 years why does the bible attach numbers to these tragedies the bible would have just said a certain man was sick Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray because there are some of you you can't wait again till december no the bible said this is the day not this is the week not this is the month there are days there are weeks there are months there are years whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality if your faith is for years save johnny if your faith is for months save johnny he said give us this day give us when one more time so god can give men this day there are times they will say after five months on the sixth month of the seventh year the word of the lord came but jesus himself said when you pray remind the father that is within his power to give you this day give me this this day give me liftings this day Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He said. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him my god is able to do just what he says he will do he's got a fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god cause he won't give up on you john joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the lord had promised to the house of israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father i declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry i declare speedy manifestations 
of every prophetic word. I declare, someone pray. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. Baruska le brega de bes, skopra to veretuska di balas. Speedy manifestation, speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass today. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. Sapakatos, rakata braskata velakatos. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, my God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure, let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit, 15, 16, and that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is the prayer father give evidence to my christian experience did you hear what i said give evidence i'm tired of running around telling people i'm a christian i'm tired of telling people i love you without proof i'm tired of telling people i'm serving you without proof i'm tired of telling people that i'm living for you father give evidence to my christian experience give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my trusting you are you ready say father, father. In this, season, in this season, give evidence, give evidence to my Christian experience. My Christian experience. Results, results, genuine results. Genuine results. Open, your Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows, pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live, my living for you. Sabraska barakatos, krataka barakata fraska barakatos. Pray, pray. My deliverer is 
coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by One more time My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by In Jesus name In Jesus name He said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity i've seen people who love god they are not lazy but they live their lives begging they never get to a point where they can live a decent life no they beg their wives join them begging their children join them begging their grandchildren join them begging their entire lineage lives by begging shout no way no. one more time shout no way Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 Para sofra gabere kus kabranda gabala kusies. Krate fede sodon sabalas kabranda gabere tus kieta. Shobra gabere gabere tus kieta balakasi. In the name of Jesus. Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father. Father. Every curse. Every, curse. Every enchantment. Every, every demonic arrangement. Every orchestrated orchestrated by, men by men. And by spirits. By spirit. Against my life. Yes. And my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment. Every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. So you pray with fervency, you pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father, 
shout it again say father in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that everything you have for me i receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination i receive tonight by your spirit someone pray Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you. Receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandekeberekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter. 
in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake parakatos ki atabat. Sabranda ke berekos shalakros ke berekos. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.